it's really, uh, let's call it a, frustrating when I see a demand growth line going exponentially up. At the same time earlier this year, Amron Vice President Steve Kidwell says that with uh, heavy investments in energy efficiency, Amron can meet energy demand in their service territory for the next 20 years and retire the old Merrimack plant that Mr. Bond pointed out. Energy efficiency alone is what is going to do that. But the reason that Amron does not want to do that, going back to my points about their shareholders wanting to make as much money as possible, and that literally in the same quote, he said that's not what, that is not what is good for our shareholders, so we just can't do that. So instead, they're spending millions of dollars in campaign contributions and lobbyist donations to build a nuclear reactor that is going to be the most profitable for their shareholders. So, so to believe that the, the growth rate looks like this in Missouri for electric demand is it, it, it cannot factor in things like energy efficiency. Uh, with energy efficiency, this thing rolls. Uh, with energy efficiency, there was a report that just came out a week or two ago by the American Council on an Energy Efficient Economy. And it said that if the 10 policy options were implemented that they suggested, we could create 8,500 uh, 8, jobs in every single county around Missouri instead of just Calumet County. And, and we can save ratepayers $6.1 billion. Well, that savings of $6.1 billion roughly equates to the amount that Georgia ratepayers are being asked to pay into a new nuclear reactor. That's a $12 billion swing. So where do you think that the priorities lie for Ameren, who's by all measures wanting, wants to increase profits for the shareholders? They're going to go with the nuclear reactor. They're not going to go with energy efficiency. And as a matter of fact, according to uh, one of our lawyer friends at the coalition, uh, if Ameren doesn't file uh, certain applications with the Missouri PSC, their entire energy efficiency budget can basically be nil by the, by the end of this month. So the other thing, so I'd like to get back to affordability. You saw on my slides that cost overruns are rampant in today's dollars. They're rampant not only in the United States, but all around the world, at least in countries that have appropriate working conditions. Um, and, and another thing that Mr. Bond did is that he compared the, uh, the, the coal reactor, the Merrimack plant, to a car, an old car. Well, I'm glad that he did that because that was going to be one of the points that I brought up. Who here lives in a house, an apartment, or maybe even a car? Uh, you know that after, after a certain amount of time that things fall apart. Like he said, things are going to get loose, screws are going to come undone, pipes are going to become corroded. Well, in a nuclear reactor, according to Exelon CEO John Rowe, 100% verification on their pipes that are cemented underground to make sure that they're structurally, uh, structurally sound, that they have integrity, is impossible. Imagine that you're driving a car and you can't even get to the alternator. Uh, it, it, it doesn't really make sense. Uh, so let's see here. Um, Another thing that he mentioned about, that I'd like to, to rebut about the safe. He, he, he uh, offhandedly, Steve, uh, offhandedly mentioned, or excuse me, Mr. Vaughn, Scott, I'm sorry. I get nervous in front of crowds. <laughs> um, mentioned that they release what's allowed by the federal government. Um, and those releases are radioactive tritium and carbon-14. Uh, these are radioactive isotopes that are on a daily basis released from the cooling tower and released from uh, the, the cooling water that goes back out at 19 degrees hotter than it came in uh, during the entire nuclear process. Second. So just because it's allowable doesn't mean that it's safe. The National Academy of Sciences has said that any amount of ionizing radiation increases your risk for cancer. It doesn't matter how small or how large the radiation exposure is. So to be continually releasing more radiation into the environment than is actually present in the environment is morally wrong. It's not Amron's job to increase my risk for cancer. 